students welcome back continue with the topic of the files so in the previous video i explained about the different high level ivo functions that are used for file uh, on the files now let us see the string ivo functions so what are the string ivo functions that are used the string ivo functions are f get s and f put s get s is for read a file uh, it reads if uh, reads from a file whereas uh, f put s is write into a file so it read and write a file in the form of array of characters so the main thing is it reads or writes a file in the form of in the form of array of characters so array of characters are nothing but a strings so if you if you combine a group of strings a group of characters is called a strings so array of characters is nothing but a string so for reading and writing we use f get s and f put s now let us see what is the syntax for this first one is f get s so it reads what is the function of this it's just reads string from file so it reads a group of characters from the file that is a string what is the syntax for f get x write f get s string so whatever the string that you want to read from the file that string int value means how many characters you want to be read so that is a int value int value f pointer from where you have to read the file so this int value specifies it denotes it denotes number of characters in string so this is the function syntax of the f get s now let us see f put s put means writing it is used to write string to file write string to file then syntax is so the syntax is just f put s string comma file pointer so here for writing you you don't need to mention the int value why we are not mentioning the int value in the f put s because you want to write the string completely into that file whereas in f get s if you want to read something how many characters you want to be read how many uh, records that you want to be read that have to be mentioned so that's why this contains the three arguments whereas this function contains only two arguments so f get s contains three arguments and uh, f put s get contains only two arguments now let us see the program for this string io function so how we will use the f put s and f get s now let us see let us see the program so main first declare the file pointer file pointer fp now you have to uh, declare the character string whatever you want to be read the character string is 30 characters int i comma n now print f what do you first you want to enter the number of strings that you want to be stored in the file number of string now you have to read that strings whatever you entered ampersand n so this now i entered the string now i want to open the file fp is equal to f open the name of the file is string dot text that should be first in write mode okay so in the write mode i open the file in write mode 
now i am doing for i is equal to 0 i less than equal to n i plus plus here writing print f enter string percentile d i so just read the string get string str here i am using the function f put s f put s so i open the file in write mode means whatever the string that you want to enter into uh, you want to save the string in the string dot x uh, string dot text file so you have to open in write mode so for writing i use f put s so what i have to put on the string uh, string dot text just str whatever i open uh, i created i read from the keyboard that string come a file pointer from where i have to be so with the help of the file pointer uh, f put s function will know this file pointer will be in string dot text in the address of string dot text so it goes to that particular address and stored in string dot text file pointer close the for loop so this should be done for up to uh, i is less than or equal to n so i open the file in write mode now i want to close that file f close file pointer okay now again i want to open the file in read mode so whatever i have entered there now uh, that is saved on the file so what is the uh, what is the matter that is saved on the file that i want to read file pointer is equal to fp is equal to f open string dot text that should be in read mode okay so again for this for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus f gets so i want to read the string that already written on the file uh, so that string i want to read so f get as string comma up to 30 characters i want to read fp okay so whatever i read that i want to be print on the screen f print f string percentile d i and that should be put as string okay close the for loop f close close the file pointer in write mode read mode close the main program so this is how you have to read the file and uh, read the characters and write the characters. So this is about the string IO functions. Thank you.